Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mom Bears Homestead and more. On today's adventure, I've got some, got through some rabbits the other night. So uh, we've talked about taking the bunny barn and doing away with it. So we're going to remove one of the hanging cages from the bunny barn today. And I've got a big idea for that cage once it comes out of there. But that's on a later date and time. So um, I don't want to spoil the new plan for that cage but you guys come along as we revamp the bunny barn and set it up here Not too okay. you know, you're gonna get the stuff off the top and I'll drag the stuff from the bottom that way we can figure if we untouch that first pushed yeah but Get i'm looking at the tools what i what tools i need first so it's wired on that back wired there and then this wire here the table and just so yeah just get everything okay. This has been a long time coming. This worked great for our first rabbit cage setup, but these cages are just about impossible to keep clean. And you know, that's another thing we always talk about is always be open to change. Cause this worked great, but then we realized it didn't work great. So yeah, it's just, all, always a learning curve. Filled with water. I've got to come in here and we've got all these tubs. <laughs> We've got all these tubs full of, most of this stuff has just been donated to us. Chicken feeders, rabbit feeders, dishes. But I've got to go through it all and see what's good and what just needs tossed. But that's a project for a later date. you can see with this one they always want to go to the bathroom on that solid strip and it's just impossible to to keep clean and I don't like it and not to mention the fact that the cages aren't super stabilized and the fact that if they start running around to jump around their water spills and it's just a headache Sorry. and Sorry. we'll be able to take the yellow um, hay and poop trays and put underneath some of the pre-built hutches. So that'll be a big plus as well. Um, I've got a list of tools I need in my head, so I'm gonna go get those. I'll be right back, guys.
I'm gonna go get the hose to, well, hi, Miss Vanna. What are you doing under there? She wasn't very social this morning when I was feeding for breakfast. Um, she never did come out to get her pellets. She was hanging out in the hay barn the entire time. So, but that's okay. I don't always feel social either, do I, Miss Vanna? But I'm so excited to see this hay barn go away. And the goal is here soon, probably within the next um, couple of weeks, Dirk will start working on another rabbit hutch for me. Because um, as long as the twins over there are girls, they're going to be staying with our permanent family. Vanna. Hi, Vanna Daryl. What are you doing in their, in their poop tray? You got a whole hay barn of fresh hay. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, she's on. She's gone. Or not. If it don't work that way, that's fine. Thought it'd be easier to try to get the manure belt off in one solid piece versus trying to move it with the cage and it break into 5,000 pieces. And the reason we had these on here were whenever we weaned some of the the babies and it was still they were still a little bit too small to where if they really wanted to fit through those holes they could but just not an ideal cage setup i mean it, it worked for the time we've used it but what are you doing baby what are you doing you want your pellets I get scared over here. There's gonna be some louder noises. Come here, baby. Come on, come on. There you go. Now, if Papa Bear scares you off, you're gonna have to take that up with him, okay? Yeah, that end's hooked onto that shepherd's hook, too, isn't it? And the use of the manure belt as kind of like a poop chute. It worked really well. We had them on two of them. and But that stuff, once it gets dried out in the sun and everything and it starts cracking, you can pretty well say goodbye to it because it's going to fall apart pretty quickly. Isn't that right, Papa Bear? Yep. Don't let the sun. We used to have to put that up on the back side of the bunny barn during the winter as just a, a snow and 
wind block for them. And we won't have to do that this year. Last one right there. Yeah. Hey, Mom. What? When you get back to that, I'm gonna have you hold the front of the cage against this so I can cut these waters loose. Okay, show me when I get back. Is there any where specific you want it? No. You're gonna start breaking the pieces in the side. Right. No, just leave it out and I'll, I'll just take it to work with me this week and get rid of it. You want me to just set it out on the other pile of it? Yeah, that'll be fine. Should they're the hail.
so nice to see that gone. Well, guys, that's the first one. Two more to go, but we got to get bunnies going before we can get the rest of the down. So, um... Actually, while I got you over here, do you want to help me sex those two real quick? Yeah, we can do that. Because okay. the twins I've wanted to keep for the pattering. Pattering. Pattern. And the fact that they're shorter hair. But um, we do not need any more bucks. So, if they're bucks, we're going to have to find a home for them. Which shouldn't be very hard because look how cute they are. Hey guys. Hi you want guys. me to grab them? Hey. Hey. Hey, and they're super, super sweet. They let me pet them every time, every time I feed them, but they haven't been held too super often. Oh, that's okay. You want to go more in there? I don't blame you. And usually if they haven't, if they're wiggling around, I try to just get them calmed down a little bit before we start poking, poking around their genitals. But these are both, um, I forget who their mom is. I have it written down, but um, their dad is Sassy Boy, as yeah. you can probably tell from the patterns. I'm shedding all over yeah. the place. He throws all the colors. All right, are we gonna flip you over? The faster we do this, the faster I can be done with it. Okay. But if you notice, the rabbit is calm because their ears are laid down. I think you're a little girl. And we'll try to do a better video in the future of actually showing you how to sex them. But right now it's just more of a wanting to get it done pretty quickly and just figure out what they are. All right, sweetie, you're next. I'm going to go with the both girls. <sighs> And we did, we did attempt to sex them before we separated them from the rest of the litter and put them in here. And at the time we determined that they were girls, but we're not the best at sexing them when they're very young. As I've mentioned in several videos, that's how we've ended up with a couple of our bucks because I fell in love with them thinking that they were does and they weren't. Okay. You ready to get this? nonsense taken care of then i'll get you some good fresh hay how about that and some pellets yeah we'll get you hooked up for dinner all right you're being so calm Boy. Little okay. buck. Okay. All right, CD. All right, so the gray mm. one's a girl. Yeah, you want to put that one in that pen? Yeah. We'll go ahead and separate you, okay? Well, you'll be next door. Yeah, you'll be right next door. Well, and you can kind of tell that the feet of this one, the back paws, yeah. paws the back feet are a little bigger. Not that that necessarily has anything to do with anything. I've seen some massive does with some big old back feet. But, yeah, we'll get a better video in the future. <laughs> we'll go ahead and sex them beforehand. That way um, we can show you exactly what the differences are and everything. For when we do it. Now, the older that they get, obviously, if they're little boys, it's pretty obvious. Um, the first time that I saw a pair of rabbit testicles, it was pretty funny. I was... Oh, goodness, I had one of our friends, little like 
three or four year old kids was with me and I went to pick up Teddy <laughs> for them to hold and I caught a caught sight of him and I thought something was wrong with him I mean then the, those things were massive um, I looked around there was not an adult in sight for me to <laughs> like look at these bad boys but all right so you're a little girl and you're a little boy and I'll get you set up with some food and water right now but well I hope you guys liked our little um bunny barn overhaul um there'll be a lot okay so the camera just overheated this outro is going to be super fast but you will see several other videos of the progression of getting these other cages down as well as the progression of what we turn this into but thank you for watching and as always keep on keeping on my friends because we love every single one of you we'll see y'all next time